It is. Yes. Roger Dodge. All right, what we is? are Holy live, shit. boys. We're live for the Summer Game Fest. Um, it starts in 15 minutes. We're hoping some some really good announcements. We do know that Call of Duty is going to have some content on there. There was rumors that it was multiplayer that Dan said, um, but they tweeted. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be story, like part of a story mission. Um, so who knows? They might do a bit of both. We'll see when um, when it happens. Uh, hoping to see some Ragnarok. That would be real nice. Um, any fantasy games that are shown. So I'm hoping for some Hogwarts Legacy. I'm hoping for some Ragnarok. Uh, will all be played on the Sword and Scabbard. Boys, have you seen my new channel? I haven't yet. I did uh, subscribe I to it. I have not. I haven't watched any. Unbelievable. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I know. I'm, I'm, such, a, I'm such a horrible friend. Hey, hey, <laughs> your, 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 your man is, is busy in life trying to get this business open. And... No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Um, I've got my protein shake. My trail mix, my kombucha. We're gonna be peeing a bunch. We We're good to go. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> All right, let me pull That's up. The most accurate description of being Luke's friend I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> what should I put in the chat? Knack remastered confirmed. Knack remastered confirmed. That's what I'm putting in the in the live chat for the game show. Knack remastered confirmed. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> they open up with that. Oh no, it's at the very end. They go, oh, we've got one last announcement. <laughs> Knack remastered. Do you know what I feel like? Knack, let's go. Legit, if they did that, if they honestly did that, I think it would like be the best thing ever. I think people would absolutely soak it up. I think people would love it. I really do. I think talking so about too, the, yeah. the, that was the PlayStation exclusive, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. I might catch flack for this, but I actually really enjoyed that. It was game. a good game. It was a really good game. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was simplistic. It definitely gave me um, Ratchet and Clank vibes, and it was fun. Yeah, and the way that they set up the AI and like where they position them on the map, oh, genuinely a difficult game. Mm. It was a fun game. Underrated. I know it's like a bit of a memed game, but it was good. It was good. I never understood the meme. I I, I had a good. Time it's a meme because it. it's just a it's like a it's like a kiddish game. That's all the meme is, isn't it? That's all it is. But it's a, it's a well-made game. You could say the same about Lego games and Ratchet and Clank. They're in the same category, That's but they're true. all really fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Who's in the chat? Who've we got in the chat? Blaze is in the chat. Darth Vader's in the chat. You still after Obi Wan? Cameron's in the chat. Matteo's in the chat. Emo's in the chat. Dilo's in the chat. How are you all? How are you all? Um. Okay, this is what. Let's go through what we're hoping to see. Oh, by the way, uh, my mom actually just texted me this. I'm at 450,000 subscribers today. Woo! Woo! So, uh, thank you everybody for being awesome, being part of this community. It's been fantastic. 450,000. Let's Dang. hope we can get to half a million by the end of the year. What does everyone think? What does everyone think? It's quite I the challenge. 50, 000, I'll make 50,000 new accounts just for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll write a script. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Execute. <laughs> okay. Um... So yeah, congratulations everyone, 450,000, uh, you guys are incredible, and I'm really excited to see where the channel goes with this new format, which reminds me of the new format, fitness video up tomorrow, it may be late tomorrow because of this live stream, I'm stopping editing that so I can do this live stream, so it might be out a little bit later tomorrow, the fitness video, okay, but do get prepped for that, I think it'll be fun. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, Modern Warfare Replay 2019, starting again, um second mission piccadilly will be on monday if you didn't see that dan mark i'm replaying it on realistic mode and i'm actually having a ton okay. of fun i just want to revamp like i want to i want to remember what the story like because there's a lot of story um points that i really forgot um so i thought it'd be really cool to play this on realistic but then also one thing that i haven't done on this channel yet is play the is it spec ops is that what it's called the special ops after it 
that kind of carries oh, on a bit of the um, story. Uh, yeah. The real apparently it's really difficult. Um, it's uh, terrible. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's it is really bad. Yeah, it's awful. Oh, well, I was going to invite you guys, but I don't know if I'm going to now then. Because you have to play it in a team. I mean, if you I, want to suffer I together, didn't say anything. we can down. have some fun. I mean, like I, all I want to know is the story, the story points. Do you know what I mean? Right, and I'm down to suffer together. Yeah. It'll be a rage, uh, like video rage stream. It'll be great. Yeah, exactly. It'll be fun. Only to go with the five dollars. I'll just eat. I'll read it after I've had this trail mix. I just put it in my mouth. I'm sorry. Stuff in my face. Me too, man. I just got some Applebee's delivered. Mm. Nah, mate. Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Microwave food. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. I don't know. Their their pretzels are they, they slap pretty hard. Only to go up with five dollars. Thank you so much for donating to the channel. I really appreciate it. it says congratulations on the four. Congratulations on the four hundred fifty k. You one hundred percent can reach seven hundred fifty by the end of the year. <laughs> Keep it up, man. I'm excited to see what happens next. I don't know about that, but I appreciate the uh, the confidence. I do appreciate it, um, but 750,000 subs by the end of the year is quite the stretch, <laughs> to say the least. I believe in you. You can do it. I don't know about that. Unless they had another vi video go viral, way. but I doubt it. Well, I don't know. You're going to be playing uh, Clean House again. It's true. I am going to be playing Clean House. That was the video that took this channel to uh, the new heights, wasn't it? It is, and it's such a good fucking mission. Yeah, oh my it God. is. Instant it's a fantastic mission. Classic. It is a classic. Instant. It is a classic. Um, so my internet isn't perfect. I know there's a bit of lag. I'm on Starlink, and it drops every 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 so often. It drops for like a millisecond, and then comes back on again. So it is a little bit iffy. I do apologize, but um, it's not unwatchable. Stop being so spoiled, people. <laughs> 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 wow. Luke talks about healthy food but runs 5k in 30 minutes. Oh! Shit, Blaze. <gasps> Where's my phone, actually? Oh, it's right in front of me. I'm a freaking idiot. Um, Before I was sick last week, I got a new PB for my three miles. And when I say PB, I mean PB since I started getting fit again in the past few weeks. Um, Where is it? Let's have a look. Let's have a cheeky peek. It was a pretty good run, to be honest with you. 26, 34. 26 minutes, 34 seconds. Uh, which isn't too bad, to be honest with you. Um, I can't remember what I said what my quickest was. Um, since leaving the Royal Marines, I had a quickest time of my three miles. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick. I said it in my fitness videos. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. Um, but it was pretty damn quick. If I'm honest with you. That's not it. Damn it, where did it go? Where are you, you little turd? God damn it, where did it go? I had a picture of it. Uh, well, it's on my videos. If someone wants to go back to my fitness video, my last fitness video... And find out what it was. It was like 22 something. Which isn't bad to be honest. Isn't bad. Would like to see some aloe cream for that burn. Listen. Listen. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. Man, some aloe vera. <laughs> if it's not better than my 1930, I don't care. Listen, Blaze. Listen. How old are you? You're probably like 17, aren't you? Something like that. You're probably young and f young and full of youth. Let me tell you about my fitness when I had a green beret. I was unbelievable. 1930? I was quicker, quicker than that with boots and a weapon on me back. I was unbelievable. I was like superhero. I had a green beret. Never mind you wannabe para. All right, Blaze. And that, and that was back in 1930 when Luke was around. It's been 73 years. He was a stretcher. He an ambulance. He's dead. It's been 93 years. Uh. 
dear. No, Blaze, go back and find out. I think it was like 22 something. And this is since I left the Royal Marines. Which, when you're, when you're in the military, and Blaze will probably attest to this, I think you're going to go into the paras. You, we literally did like fizz two to three times a day, right? Not only that, you're not allowed to walk around camp. You have to run everywhere. My fitness was through the roof. It was unbelievable. I'll never be that fit again. But I'm okay you with that. Stick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I need one of them. <laughs> I, know, I, need, I, need a, I need a soundboard with like the emotional damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got four minutes until it starts. Um, I want to remind you two as well if something exciting happens. Don't announce it straight away until... Because you might be yes, ahead of me yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because you got potato yeah. Wi-Fi. I've yes. got... Well, I've yeah, got good exactly. Wi-Fi. It just drops every... Like, this is the thing with Starlink. It's fantastic. It's way better than the cellular stuff I had prior. Because it's unlimited. I can download anything. It's brilliant. The only problem is... Is that there's not enough satellites in the sky for it yet. They're still putting satellites up. They've got, I think... Um, 11 scheduled flights uh, by the end of the year. Um, so there's going to be a lot more going on, which I'm, I'm very happy with. I'm very happy with. Why does it say my current viewers is zero? It went down all the way to zero for some reason. Oh, unlimited Wi-Fi means that you can play games more. Exactly. Exposed. Exactly. Can you guys see my stream? Does it look okay? Uh, uh, I don't have yours open. I have the summer games yeah, thing I have open. Game fest. Hold on, let me get you open on a second screen. Original. Only Dakotes with another five dollars. Says man's getting roasty toasty out here with all these burns. Also, this is the last one. Lol. Until next paycheck. Thank you, Only Dakota. I appreciate you, mate. Thank you. You don't have to do it. Make sure you've got food. <laughs> yeah, your stream looks fine. Crispy. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Crispy. Oh, good, 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 uh, good, good. Mark, we're like, we're probably like 20 seconds ahead, though. So, yeah, okay. uh, we need to shut the fuck up. Okay. Well, the stream is always a bit delayed. I'm at 27, 26, 25, 24. Son of a bitch, you're ahead of me. There well, you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> one, one second ahead of me. There you go. That's funny. Tis funny. Yeah, uh, when I tuned in your stream, it was like 20 seconds behind, so I was like, ah, no. And even with stream delay, there's no way. There she blows. Okay. Yeah, because the, the stream always puts it a little bit behind, and rightly so. It's just for protection for all sorts of different shit. Right. <clears throat> right. So, uh, what are you uh, kind of waiting for, aside from Call of Duty? What are you expecting? Um, I want more God of War. I want more Hogwarts Legacy. Um, and then that, I'm, I'm pretty much open then at that point. Like, I'm not really, like, um, you know, there's nothing that's really like, oh, I'd really want this. Like, I'm not really crazy about it. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, sequels and stuff. There isn't really any sequels that I'm, I'm craving right now. So, I don't know. What do you think? I think that I, God of War is going to get its own state of play. I don't think we're going to see it here. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Probably. Uh, there might be... No, there's probably going to be a little bit, but it probably won't be anything more than like a teaser kind of thing. Right. Maybe. I think that Hogwarts Legacy we're definitely going to see. Uh, I'd like to see Gollum. Yeah, I'd like to see Gollum. Gollum. Yeah. They recently just shown a bunch of content to... Uh, people behind the scenes as well, so we might get some more Gollum on there, which would be pretty nice. It'd be nice for a few friggin', you know, surprises. I know my favorite author said that, um, mentioned something about a game at some point. God knows what that is, but can you only, um, oh god, Wait, literally. Brando Sando? Yeah, 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 yeah. He said it, like, briefly really? at one point, yeah. But he's so busy, I don't know whether he would be or not. But if he did, if something came up with his name on it, I shit you not, I would probably cry. I know. It would be amazing. It would be amazing. All right. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right. Let's make this big. Let's turn it up. 
the following Blaze, shut the fuck up. Raff Reg of the Navy. Marines are shit all over the paras. You know it as much as I do. That's why you keep talking about it. Summer Game Fest, a live showcase of what's next in the yeah, wide, I think this wide is a little overkill. video games. We are live here in Los Angeles. So whether you're streaming from home or watching inside an IMAX theater, welcome what? to Who's our watching it in an IMAX theater? Fest. Over the next few hours, we'll give you updates on the games Good you man. love, be joined by special developer guests, and yes, have a few surprises along the way. Do we know how long this is going to be? What I love about this show no idea. is that it's a true no cross-industry showcase. Whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, yeah. Switch, or mobile, we'll have games for you. It Our fridge. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. We're all here to come together as one community that simply loves the art of amazing video games. I'm excited. The biggest franchises in the industry are here, like Call of Duty. Yay. We'll get introduced to exciting new worlds and new teams, and we'll make room for small independent developers who we think deserve the spotlight, too. Stand on me. If we do this right... Hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. Yeah. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it, you're not going to get everything this. today, but we've got a lot of great stuff. So That's what I want to hear. That's a good way to open it up. Over 30 years ago, Capcom Street Fighter here uh, since. Not a fan this of Street Fighter. Legendary Japanese fighting game series has continued to evolve. Do you know why I'm not a fan Street of it? Street Fighter 6 is coming what? in Because I'm shit at it. <laughs> right now, we're excited to officially confirm a character reason? coming to the game and show you the exclusive I'm first you. gameplay footage. Fighting games. Enjoy. Smash is the only one I could really get into. Any fight, if it was any fighting game, it'd be Mortal Kombat. That's the only one I could get into. Enjoy Mortal Kombat. You will know what hits you. Let me have some fun. Let's get this mission started. Oh, it's the dude with the hair. The dude with the hair. <laughs> you can pretty much sum every character up in Street Fighter with it's that person with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Part of character. I think Guile's probably the one that you gotta know. Guile's mm. theme? No? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Come on. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that this is still a thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm glad that not only is it still, you know, popular, but it does have a hardcore fan base. And I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. Not my cup of tea, but I'm happy for them. You have to think the amount of balance that has to go into these games must be pretty difficult. Oh, I can imagine. You know? <gasps> yeah. That's a cool little logo. The way they did the six. I like that. Again, not my cup of tea, but whatever. <clears throat> it's all about the comb. All right. Next, it's all about the what? A brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. The cone? Check oh. this out. New game. Cool premiere. Let's go, new game. Here we go. I like how we're just going back to back to back on these. Yeah, same. 20th century games. Focus Entertainment. Okay. Year 2198. Sure, Interesting. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base. Locate the commsat relay and bring it back online. What is this? the relay, but there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Close that gate. Nothing gets in here. Something very military-esque. Ray didn't make it. Oh, don't be a zombie game. Don't be a zombie game. Oh wait, is this uh, is this GTFO? Is this like a new Willis, take the lead. new release of it or a new season or something? Maybe. It looks like some sort of team based. And there's definitely like zombies, some sort of Yeah, I think you might be right, yeah. What we found was Aliens or something like that. And it found us first. You don't think this is an aliens game, do you? No, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um, be interesting. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> 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 
There you go! Aliens! Who <laughs> did that? They did, yeah. And it did terribly. It did absolutely terribly. Yeah. I feel like, um... I need to get into Aliens. I haven't watched any of the original films. And I've only watched Prometheus. So I'd like to watch it. There you go. Aliens. I think Aliens is one of them franchises that everyone thinks is going to do amazing all the time because it's such a big IP. It never does that well. It hasn't done well in a long time. The yeah. games have been really bad. Yeah. Aliens Dark Aliens Descent. Light on the name. Hmm. Oh, so it's like a top-down game. Did you see that? Yep. It seemed yeah. more like a top-down, which could work for it. I kind of like them games. I feel like they're underrated. Dark Descent, and it's coming in 2023 to console and PC. Next, two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto <clears throat> Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space franchise. Today, I am thrilled to get to show you the first raw gameplay alongside its creator, Glenn Schofield. Awesome. But first, here's the gameplay. Nice. Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gold. Oh, who's calling me? I'm excited for this because the trailer looked really good. The trailer looked yeah. genuinely fantastic. It's the OG Dead Space team. So yeah. That's a good sign. I, yeah, I didn't know that before I watched the trailer and I definitely, I said on the reaction I did, it was definitely Dead Space vibes. Uh, just so you guys know, I got to pop off in about a half hour. I got to uh, get ready for a meeting at the bank. Yeah, no worries. Sure. Have you seen this trailer yet, Dan? The yeah, this is new for me. Oh, it's new. Nope. It looks fantastic. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance. I'm very excited for this. The voice is great. The lighting in this game is unbelievable. <clears throat> Jeez, it's going to be terrifying, this, isn't it? I hope so. I just love that last part. Gives me chills every time. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks so good. Thank you, Albert, for the $10. You just put H. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you was meant to say something else. If I see your chat, I'll look at it. Jeez, the gore in this! Oh my god! It looks delicious. It looks great. I, I'm very excited. To play. I'll be playing this on the channel 100%. It looks fantastic. It really does. Alisto. That's right. We know what you wanted to see. And joining me now, Glenn Schofield. Striking this is Glenn. Uh, first of all, Congratulations. This game looks absolutely incredible. And I got to say, yeah. the fact that you have built this team, this studio, new IP, shipping this December, all in COVID, blows me away. So congratulations. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for having us. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, and, you know, for a second, just give me a second. <clears throat> you know, I want to thank you uh, for all you've done for the game industry uh, all these years, man. I, I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now. And uh, um, you've been an ambassador um you've amplified new games new studios and uh 
I, That's I really sweet of him. I really do oh, appreciate well, it. Yeah. Thank you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah, I, I know. I, but. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's so fun to do these shows <clears throat> to show this game. So people saw the trailer. But what I'm so excited today is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development. Albert and just says, take my money. It, <laughs> Thank you, Albert. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. That. Yeah, we got a couple minutes of, uh, like you said, like raw gameplay. Um, it's two segments in the first half of the game. Uh, one is a med bay. Another one is a power station. And you're going to see uh, some new enemies, some brutality, some uh, just about everything. We were showcasing a new uh, weapon called the grip. Okay. It's a, the like grip. a gravity gun, but it picks up the enemies. Hey, Jendik Commando, how's it going, my dude? Fans. It rips them apart. It's great. And uh, and then check out the uh, the nice <laughs> ending we have, where we uh, you know we usually will kill our main character Jacob, and in a very unique way. Perfect. And, uh, just for a second, I, I want to thank the team, man. Like you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work, uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, you know, what you guys are shipping this year, this looks like a world-class next-gen game. Uh, it's, it's rare that teams are bringing something out like this this year, and let's let the footage speak for itself. Glenn Schofield, Thanks. Striking Distance. Here it is, the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. Let's see this. Captured on next gen hardware. Oh, there he is. Whoa! Oh, this looks great. This looks great. Looks so cool. Oh, shit, it's a thicker boy. Man, this really does remind me a lot of Dead Space. Yeah, it's definitely Dead Space 2.0, isn't it, really? Like a, yeah. like a... What's the word I'm looking for? Inspired by. I mean, it's the same people in it, so. Looks great. This is a day one buy for me in December. <laughs> I love how, uh, forgive me for this, but how juicy everything sounds. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, look at the helmet and everything. It's so dead space. It's crazy. That's another game I can't wait for is the Dead Space remake. Yeah, I've been waiting for that for a long time. Just Good lord! All right, move it on. That looks great. This October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare hey, here 2 we go. arrives. Infinity Ward is once again returning to its roots for a modern day action game. And today we're about to show you the world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. To yeah. tell us more, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in with Johanna Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm so excited to see the animations. The animation team for Infinity Ward is so sick. Yeah. Warfare changed everything. It did change everything because it made the rest of the Call of Duty game shit. In a new era of Call of Duty, yeah. <laughs> the launch of Modern Warfare 2. We are back. We are bigger, and we are bringing the entire team: Price, Gaz, Soap, Alejandro, 
and of course, Ghost. We needed a stage big enough to debut Call of Duty. I'm not a mute, massive fan of Ghost. I'm not gonna lie. By the World War <gasps> I'm not. Get him. Get him. Get him. And staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. The rest of the characters are, seem cool. Price and everyone, they seem like re like they could be real people. Ghost doesn't. It just seems like a. I don't know. Eyes in the red. Right, that's our target. You get what I'm saying, right? No. <laughs> no. Best character. All right. They did make, yeah. Yeah, Plague, they really did make Ghost the poster boy for this, didn't they? You're right. When it should have been Price. No, Ghost 100%. God, look at look at that! It looks fantastic. Oh wow! Oh, that's that's the Fennec weapon model. That's that's the same model from 2019. Please, Connor. This is them trying to give us like a bit of a clean house mission. Yeah. And I'm all about it. This looks fucking brilliant. It's, he was running away. It's like they took... The guy was running away. Who shoot him? Oh. You have to this remember. Just... I did um, anti piracy ship, like protecting ships. So this is right up my alley. So they took the wet work mission from Modern Warfare 2 from way back and we're like, you know what? Why don't we make it like clean house? Yeah, they did. And it, it works so well. I'm, this looks I'm great. This, the, the vector that he's got, it's the Fent from 2019. Same sound, same animations too. Mm -hmm. like let's, exact let's, same, like unchanged. Let's check this room clear in. Oh! Did you just lose a man? Thank you, Albert, for the dollar. Appreciate it. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. If the multiplayer in Warzone 2 doesn't do as well as they hope, let's just hope this story is like this the way through it because give me missions like this the whole way through and I'll be all about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think this is on PS5. Yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. Oh, we got the VOK. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, guys, you best get a shifty on. Guys spraying and praying right there. I don't remember Molotov's in clean house, but sure, we'll take it in the new one. This looks great. Dude, this looks the great. Explosion animations. Yeah, this looks great. Obviously, we can't tell 100% until we get the hands on the game, right? And that that's for story, for multiplayer, for Warzone 2, for everything, right? Right. But the sound, the, have you heard this, how good the sound is? The sound is incredible. The sound's like... It doesn't even sound like a regular Call of Duty game. It seems like they've completely revamped the audio. I think they have. Because this is, this is the Scar from 2019. Same animation, same model, but different sounds. The style. sound is completely different, different, and I love it. Where are the controls? On that damn ship. Actually, we got a problem. This is 
ship. You have your orders, son. Stop that launch. It's definitely on a PlayStation. It must be the PS5 because it said square to get onto that rope then. It's going to get straight onto the boat and then crack on. Probably should wait for a few more boys, but yeah, they need to get a shifty on. Love it. Get right on there, get shit done. Let's have ourselves a gunfight. Let's have ourselves a gunfight. Bit cheesy, but come on, let's go. Yeah, this, the audio is completely different. They've done something different there. It's more bassy and more realistic. It, do you know what it sounds like? It sounds exactly like it would if you had air, air defenders on. Oh, the 870's back. No, no, this is M M1014. Ooh. Oh my god. My dude's just running out in the middle of nowhere. He's playing this on easy. <laughs> The lighting in this. Is it crazy how much? Is it crazy how much the lighting makes a massive difference in video games? The lighting is like nearly everything when it comes to visuals. Oh yeah. Oh my days! Get to the bridge. Boys need to get to the bridge ASAP. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh, you would have been lit up then. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Love it! Go, 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 go. Slowest move, smooth is fast. Check it. Controls are internal. Set the charge. Shadow one going explosive on bridge entry. Three, two, one. Execute. Oh, they're not gonna show the rest of it. Uh. I like it. That that looked fantastic, guys. That looked absolutely fantastic. Now and get early access to the open data. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's what we're talking about. And it looks joining us now good. up from Long Beach. Yeah, yeah it does. Reused animations and great. models. Uh, great to have you with us. And also Jeff from uh, Infinity Wars. Kind so of sticks out. Saw the first yeah. Gameplay. Thanks for that extended sequence. And but it, it, it wasn't like... Uh, Jeff, it didn't break immersion, though. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing? Well, no, no. It didn't break absolutely. immersion. It's so, just um, like... First of all, we're really kind of points towards back, how the development uh, process went. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a conscious decision because their models and animations were so amazing. Yeah. Um, you know, they're not, they're so not going to be optimistic. We just saw today, but, uh, Let's see what they have to say. One for one, and then the other I unfortunately have to get uh, going. Uh, uh, wish me luck. The older franchise the bank, reimagining walking out of there are, uh, with Simon the Hunter Graham. Ghost Riley. All right, and, take it easy, Mark. Uh, of course, uh, Soap John yeah. McTavish. Um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, Commander Philip Graves and uh, Mexican Special Forces uh, Colonel Alejandro. And Alejandro, I guess okay. it's a character we're really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh, who's just as important as Task Force 141. Um, but as far as That's the level is concerned, um, you know, this, I, I got a shout out to, to IW. You know, this was a tremendous collaboration across all of the, the different uh, disciplines. As you saw, everybody coming together, some really uh, motivated devs here. And, uh, you know, you saw the, the wind and the uh, animation 
animations and the awesome sound design. And of course, our new water tech, which is actually pushing the boat in different directions. Mm. It's creating a physically dynamic environment, allowing for the cover you were seeing. In certain cases, you could be behind cover, and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed. But it also leaves the enemy exposed, creating this emergent gameplay. Um, so again, you I'm, say that, I'm but you'd excited. move with it as well, to be honest I'm with so you, in real life. To show it off you today. would. <coughs> you'd move with it. Where they've been, uh, uh, they've been talking about this about new water new tech so two, much. Obviously. Really? Which just so screams the, yeah, apparently the behind the scenes, it's like all they're talking about. Okay. And uh, yeah. it just reminds me of the whole ghost, like, fish AI thing. Yeah. It's such a big moment, not just for Modern Warfare 2 and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks the step change, what we're calling a transformational moment for the entire franchise. You're going to see, yeah, I see that. incredible rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game itself built all on one shared engine now across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Of course, there's a lot of chatter and interest about the new Warzone experience. We're affectionately calling it Warzone 2.0. Um, there will be um, a standalone experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're going to feed the entire community there. But all eyes on the 28th. Um, and again, I think the collaboration has just been incredible. Everybody's so excited for Task Force 1 for 1. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Warzone coming to mobile as well for players on the go. We're, we're on Steam, as you know. I mean, so yep. it's just a big moment and there's going to be a lot more to come in the, in the months to follow. Well, before we, we leave, we got to ask a little bit about Warzone 2. I know we just, you know, we're showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? There's a little bit, it seems like there was tell a little bit of maybe in the trailer yesterday. Yeah, when we're seeing that from the commu community, we love when the fans can pick <coughs> up some things, um, some chatter about maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements. But we will get into the details of Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe. Yeah. So all the more reason why we think this game, okay. this moment, is, is such an important uh, title for all of us looking looking ahead and like we said we're having a bold vision around the entire future for the franchise so we're in we're in position we're really excited all right well we're looking forward to October. i'm excited Thanks so much for giving us a first look at the gameplay call of duty modern warfare 2 thanks johanna and jeff um all right well we've got lots more it looks good it looks go, great now it's time i'm excited a classic pc gaming franchise me too back i love infinity ward i think i'm excited crushed it the past couple release. years i love this game when i, I just hope didn't they say they're going to so take I'm a two-year break this after this or the skipping a year after this one um yeah which is wise because if they brought out something by another studio that isn't as good and it broke the timeline for modern warfare 2 people would be pretty angry Oh, they'd be furious. Yeah, what is this? But yeah, overall, I'm 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 staying positive when it comes to uh, Modern Warfare 2. I think um, again, the only negative I can see with it is what you said is there's there's a few assets that they've kept, but at the same time, let me turn this down a second. At the same time, I, you can't deny even if Modern Warfare 1 didn't release and it came out this year, it would still be an excellent game. So for them to use some of the same assets, I'm not really that worried about it. I just hope that they expand no, no. on what the, the the Modern Warfare 2019 brought to the table because it really steps Call of Duty one step ahead. Obviously, Vanguard and Black Ops kind of went back a little bit, but Modern Warfare really was that like, okay, this is what where we're going now, and I hope they keep that up. Right. And with the reused assets, I have no problem with seeing the assets. Yeah. Um, it's more that it, it, with most other studios, it's kind of a red flag for like a bad development process, meaning that they had to go back, scrap some new things and just use what they had. Yeah. So it, it's not so much the assets themselves. It's the trend that could point to a troubled development. But mm -hmm. at the same time, again, it could have been a conscious decision because their assets were so good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like God of War. People were complaining that Ragnarok looks like the last one. They used a lot of assets, but the last one was a, a 10 out of 10 game. Like, there's no reason yeah. not to use some of them assets and just expand on the story, which is what everyone wants, you know? Right. What is this? Uh, vampire slaying game, it looks like? Yeah, it's okay. I want to remind everyone, if you haven't already, I started a new channel called The Sword and Scabbard. It's for all things fantasy related. Um, if there's a game on here that you think looks fantastic and it is fantasy related, the big ones for me is God of War Ragnarok and um, Hogwarts Legacy. 
If you want to see them games played, they will be played on the Sword and Scabbard. So if you haven't already, go over there and subscribe to the Sword and Scabbard. I'm actually going to go get a link and put it in the chat right now, okay? <clears throat> what is this? I don't know, but it looks alright. All right, link in the chat for people who haven't already. Please go over there and subscribe, okay, guys? Witch fire. Okay. Looks like kind of more indie really developed. Me, Epic Game Store. The astronauts. Interesting. Astronauts, what did they do? Come on about it. Stop comes an ambitious new game from a new independent studio in okay. Europe starring some very familiar names. Mm. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. Okay, let's go. New game announcement. Let's go. What is it? Fallen Leaf. 29. Black Dracker Games. Unreal Engine. I wish they'd tell us which Unreal Engine it was. I'm going to assume it's the most modern rendition. Solace. Oh, is this dead? Uh, okay. um, not dead space. Is this, um... This. The vehicle kind of looked like the one from Mass Effect. So. It did, didn't it? Okay. More dead space vibes again. Yeah, very. Not as much though with the gruesomeness, but something is going on here. Kind of reminds me of prey. And I need to find out what it is. Fort Solus. Roger Clark, Julia Brown, Troy Baker. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, no no. We'll see. That's something brand yeah, new. Oh, here he is! Look who it is. <laughs> Troy and Roger in person. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is so fun. The fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team up. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, Good to be here. I got to ask you guys, uh, who are your characters? He's so freaking stylish. Well, uh, I get to play a character named Wyatt Taylor, who's a medical officer who's stationed at this uh, base, Fort Solace. I don't know much about and, uh, Roger Clark. Epicenter of this mystery that we'll discover. <laughs> what do we know about him? As we go through the game, and of course, my character. Uh, he looks familiar. He does. That's the name. Roger's character. Battle we've been waiting to see. <laughs> Every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You we can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, oh, this looks he's awesome. Arthur Morgan. It's so great to be here. Oh, Thanks of course, yeah. It's, it's, it's so great that you're in another game. We, I mean, it's feeling like this is your first game since yeah. Red Dead 2. One of the first major ones for a while. And I play a All I have to do is listen to his voice. Theory. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote Martian mining post. Okay. And his job is to make sure that none of the equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. Uh -huh. The graveyard shift meaning Mars and Earth are really far apart from each other and their orbits around the sun. So help is not a simple call away. Uh, cool. I gotta ask it's interesting to see him in a sci-fi game. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, right? uh, no he has like no other studio, game credits. So just Red Dead Redemption in this then. Like, how did you guys get attached yeah, he, he also did Back for Blood I, I as just additional voices. Interesting. He's got an amazing voice. Why is he not used more often? He has got an amazing voice, I know. But at the same time, can he only do that same style of voice though? Do you know what I mean? But it was also brand new console. Because you look at yeah, Troy Baker, he has such a wide a range of different voices. Like the, the He's a voice actor. The a, game the actors are voice actors. That's so, what they are. Just like anybody else, we got reached right. out. Uh, James Tinsdale with this brand new studio said, we'd like for you to uh, consider being a part of this game. And he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was going to be like. And and the very beginning, <laughs> somebody said, chat, let it! We want this to feel, it's a, it's a tight thriller. We want it to feel it like needs to do that in this game. Let it! And I was like, sign me up. I that needs that. to be like his thing that he does in every game. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. New studio, yes. brand new energy. And of course, I get to work with one of the best in the business. Jeff. And me. I get the privilege Who's the of other getting guy? to see this guy and watch That's a great action. team up. I, you know, I love to work and I love the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides space cowboys <laughs> show you what we've been 
working on. Yeah. I think it's going to Yeah, we named the dog. The dog's Behind called scenes, Maple. The performance capture on Real Engine 5. I mean, this is it looks after Real Engine 5. Can you give us a hint about the the gameplay? Like what are we going to do in yeah. this? Game? Yeah. The verbs are always important. So, we're going to let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on, but uh this is a game where you as the player that you're going to be exploring, we're going to be discovering. Like we said, it's a very tight thriller. So, you're moving very fast-paced through this world. You'll be multiple locations, multiple ways for you to traverse, which we're excited to show you about. Uh, and then the the narrative is a huge element to this. The, they they didn't waste uh, any any resources on the the performance for sure. I got to tell one quick story, yeah. if I can. Um, it was one of our favorite moments. Um, there is a lot of action in this game, and that was at the the, the forefront of this. And to speak to the performance capture aspect, we brought in an incredible, I gotta give him a shout out, uh, to Nathaniel, our stunt coordinator, who walked us through and really approached us in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before. And he says, I want to know the story of this fight. Yeah, I'm and not so saying that they're not regular actors, down, John. I definitely appreciate them as actors, but they, they use the voice. Like, their voice is like the major part of being a, a game actor. Like a recovery program. It was 12 steps. And he walked us through this incredible fight and I, was, I about halfway out uh, halfway through i started tuning him out and i was like hey man i just want to let you know i've got no ego about this but i can do a lot of things but i i can't do this and he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says oh you can you will and it's going to be glorious <laughs> and we it's did like a dance there was a lot of trust and it worked out yeah I mean, we're big, excited big about stunts it, yeah, uh, yeah I i'm mean, excited to see these so two cool work to together in a game independent studio doing this teaming up with you guys yeah for sure i'm definitely support. excited i'm i'm Roger. i'm intrigued i don't know whether the story will be good i don't know whether right. the the, the gameplay will be good but up, we can at least trust that the two actors in it are going to be good a very exciting new game which will feature a musical score by industry legend mick gordon this Interesting. one is going to grab you, and we are so honored to debut it. A new game. Music Ooh. game. With Mick Gordon? Mick, music games are underrated. Oh. Yeah, especially if you got Mick Gordon as your... Your, um... Oh. Oh, I'm forgetting the word. Composer. Composer. Yeah. A lot of space games. I'm all about it. Look at these vibes. If it was a music game. No, I think it's just music by McGordon. Oh, okay. Well, they best play some of the music. Another space sci-fi. I wonder if it's somehow tied into Doom. I don't know, but it looks really, really uh, atmospheric. Terminator? Very atmospheric. Whoa! God. This sound design. Oh my god. Oh wow. Very atmospheric, this game. Atomic Heart? No, I don't think it's a routine. Interesting. We didn't get any music though. Was that only Xbox then? Doesn't that look great? Yeah, that was yeah. Routine, Xbox exclusive. Xbox well, PC. kind of. It was first PC, announced but... a decade yeah. ago and is now officially back. I can't wait to see more. Announced now a decade ago? With a very special Good guest God. Who's been in his fair share it of looks amazing, games, though. It looks terrifying. Fortnite as the foundation. Dwayne Johnson, welcome to Summer Oh, my Game God. Fest. How are you? <laughs> What's up, everybody? Of course he's in the gym with his shit off. <laughs> yes. Something about Black Adam or whatever it's called. You seen the trailer for that? Looks pretty good. Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't been keeping up with games lately. Coming at you from my Iron Paradise, the very hot and sweaty and smelly Iron Paradise, uh, powered by, of course, Zoa Energy, the number one oh, fast yeah. growing energy drink in the game. You guys know Interesting. Me, uh, by a lot of nicknames. The Rock, Is this just an energy drink ad? In Spanish, uh, I have no idea. Handsome, sexiest man Uncle alive. Handsome. <laughs> drink energy. Always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. Uh, what is he talking about? Also know me as the greatest <laughs> I'm so lost. surprise in gaming that happened. You know me as the foundation. 
And I gotta tell you guys, uh, number one, thank you so much for the crazy response of me becoming the foundation, but also I gotta say that, you know, I've had such a pleasure uh, working with um, Epic Games and uh, the teams over there, and we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future. And speaking of the future, in the future, you will also know me as Black Adam. Yeah, Black Adam. It looks Adam, good. As millions of you know looks good. around the world who know the Black Adam mythology, he is ruthless, he is unstoppable. And for those who don't, I always like to say a quick tutorial is this. Um, Black Adam has the powers of Superman, but the only difference, well, there's a few differences, but one of the biggest differences is Superman's weakness is magic, and Black Adam's, one of his superpowers is magic. So you do the math. Uh, October 21st. I'm trying to say he's better than Superman. You guys to see I don't know about Black that. Adam around the world in theaters only. And you guys will finally see the hierarchy of power in the DC universe change. Uh, it has been an honor to become Black Adam. And it was a, it is a role that's in my DNA and that I was born to play. I was born to play the man in black. And I'm honored to show it to you guys on October 21st. So until then, uh, stay healthy. Stay safe, stay focused, keep having fun, keep kicking ass, uh, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you down the road. This is Black Adam. It looks good. I feel like it's a it's a film. Moon Knight was really good. I really enjoyed that. Oh yeah. Um, we'll see. It might be really that. good. It might yes. be the film that finally brings DC to what it should be. But we've said that so many times. Yeah, I I don't have my hopes. Yeah, I think if anything, it'll just be a, a mindless fun action film. Outlander's content. What happened yeah. to this game? Just disappeared. Just went off the cliff. Uh, yeah, it, it was decent, um, but Endgame was pretty botched at launch, and that lost a lot of its player base. Oh really? Yeah, I don't know how it's doing now. I might actually give it a try. It's probably in a good place if I try to... I mean, at the end of the day, look stand. look at what it looks like. It's trying its hardest to compete with Destiny. Look at it. It is, very much. Um, and you can't really compete with Destiny, to be honest with you. What they've managed to do, especially, especially the most recent stuff, is fantastic. Why are they promoting a movie at Game Fest? Because I'm pretty sure they, they've done this a few times. Because um, it's about... It's, there's, there's like, it's like a wider thing, Game Fest, isn't it? They do have a little bit of extra stuff in here. Like, they've had some... Like, they had the Cyberpunk TV show announcement last year and stuff like that. So, um, I think they always do a little bit more. So long as someone has the money to pay for a spot here, yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day... And so long as it's, like, roughly game-related. Right. He he paid probably a good amount of money to have that spot in this, and it means that he could probably have better production. So, I'm I'm happy. I'm okay with it being in there. I'm happy with it being in there. Yeah. Marvel the, the movies are not Oscar-winning, but they're uh, not the worst. Strange. They are watchable and enjoyable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I totally agree. The Switch! Coming soon. Didn't see it. I didn't expect to see much of the Switch in his. Splatoon uh, 3. It could be the new Pokemon games. I think, it, yeah, it's just a montage. Oh, no, Splatoon 3. Okay. It's just a little montage of what's to come. Which is what, yeah, I, I'd expect that. I don't think they would go into, like... Because they'd have their own directs for their own stuff these days. They don't really yeah, bother with like conferences and stuff, do they? No. They don't need to, to no. be honest. They don't. They really don't. This is me running, trying to get my 30... Under 30 minutes, 3 miles. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sure. I still adore this game. Uh, yeah, I think it's just... It's been over... Like, I don't know. Like, they should have just done something different now. I feel like it's a bit too much. Oh, I agree. It was totally a fad that it's yeah. already died out, but... They get a bunch of YouTubers in here to uh, to make it look good. Huh. Interesting.
Interesting. Cool. Season one? That was so fun to what? see Courage and Ray in that Fall Guys. Wait, 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 wait hold on. That doesn't track. No. Across all platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, oh, it's free? PC, and PlayStation. Should have been free from the start. Another new <clears throat> game announcement. We're going to announce oh, I agree. Brand new game and I think it'll probably have a resurgence, though, now that Legendary it's free on everything, not just PlayStation. Right. New game from legendary developers, he said. Frost Everyone's Giant. Everyone's a legendary developer in uh, I know, right? his eyes. <laughs> Frost all, it's, Giant is a, is a pretty solid name, though, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. They're all his friends. <laughs> Everyone loves Jeff. <laughs> they really do, don't they? I'm getting... Oh. Signal's breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. More sci-fi? When are we going to oh, get more fun to say? Um, this is probably the new RTS game Hurry. that they're releasing. I don't know much about it. Yeah, these are... Um, this is basically like a, a, the super crew that left Blizzard. This is oh. like the original like World of Warcraft, oh. uh, Starcraft. And they're making a real-time strategy game, so I'm guessing this is it. I'm. That sounds very intriguing in my opinion. Command, I... Okay. I have it. You got a shield. Repeat, I have it. Mission accomplished. Oh well, that doesn't look good. Broke her back. Yeah, there you go. You got a shield. Use it. Hang tight, Doc. I've got yeah, this is this is very Blizzard. It is very Blizzard. You're right. I am very intrigued though. If it's a team of people that left Blizzard. Um, to make something that they're that they're actually passionate about. I'm very intrigued. So much sci-fi and fantasy. We've had hardly no fantasy at all. It's all been sci-fi. I would love way more fantasy, if I'm honest with you. It's been like 95% sci-fi, 5% Call of Duty right now. Yeah, I think that's uh, the shift that the industry is taking. They're moving a little bit more towards sci-fi. You know how we go through like three-year cycles of We genre? do, yeah. And I'm okay yeah, with that. I'm I mean, totally okay with that. I just love me fantasy genre. Hell's coming with it. So even that logo is very Blizzard-esque. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Very Blizzard-esque. Interesting. Cool. Cool. I'll, I, I'll, be, I'll be positive until I, I see anything negative. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Tim, is it maybe not the uh, the Storm RTS game? game? Is real. We have well, some we'll details. Uh, so, first of all, congratulations on this announcement. We're so excited about the return of RTS, brand new uh, franchise. What is a Storm? Yeah, game? RTS. All right. So, Storm gates okay, yeah. are portals that open during a massive solar storm that unleash the infernal host on future Earth. Okay. Uh, Interesting. And we saw some hints of some rare. I mean, you know, you guys coming from Blizzard and Starcraft, everyone wants to know about. Yeah, you're right. There you go. Uh, you know, tell us about the sides in this RTS game. Yeah, we're unveiling our first two factions okay. today, but there will be more. Uh, so the human resistance, and we saw an archaeologist from the human resistance in that intro cinematic, uh, and then also the infernal host. Who I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay positive with this one. Who come from another world. I, think I mean, I, I definitely want to, want to give it a try. Yeah, These I'll give it a try. The yeah, they, they, they know what they're doing. The and they're not, genre, like, they're not games, restricted now by a big company like Blizzard. Um, I know you're going to show us, I think, some, some hints of where you're going to go Im image-wise with the actual gameplay made in Unreal Engine. But any sense of what you want to do for the gameplay in this game? Absolutely. I, but the first thing I want to say is we are very consciously trying to stay true to what players already love about RTS. Um where we're really trying to push the genre and be innovative. First off, approachability. Um, 
for one thing, were free to play, uh, but no pay to win, no NFTs. Interesting. Like that, um, just to lower that barrier to entry to get players in. But we're also really no NFTs. <laughs> got to say that, didn't it? <laughs> Why do you have to? I mean, I appreciate hearing that, but the no pay to win. I'm just glad that he kind of acknowledged it, though. With as soon as he said free to play, he acknowledged it. Right, I appreciate that. I think we've got some first kind of work in progress images uh, from the game, right? I'm intrigued. Let's see this. I love a good RTS. Being worked on, but some shots of uh, actual assets that we're building in Unreal Engine 5. Wow. Well, I I, I love it. It looks good. Cartoony, very Blizzard. It looks good. Now. Get ready. And I'm just so thrilled that there is a I mean, if brand they can... new rts franchise coming from if they can guys, capture the spark that you know, got so many people StarCraft addicted to so warcraft yeah exactly and, and it wouldn't big. surprise me if they could is it's Thank important that uh, uh these smaller teams right, with people who are actually Storm passionate Day, about the games Ford. separate Valentine themselves from big companies like that that i'm excited to share right. with you high water check this one out high water okay new game good morning high water dwellers high water pirate radio keeping you in the know without flow Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate to Mars. Oh, I love True games like this. Yeah. Deny that the world ended on a sunny day. The world ended on a sunny day. <laughs> Very artsy. Eh? I, I adore these games, man. These are the type of games that I always want to play and I just never get around to playing them. And I always regret it. Do you know what I mean? It's a beautiful game. I'm intrigued. Definitely intrigued. I love the idea of just like a, a flooded earth. Yeah. Cool. It's something that will be on my list and hopefully I'd get around to playing it, but it's one of them that's probably going to slip through the net as always, unfortunately. What's coming this year? Oh, I'm going to pre-order that. <laughs> what a breathtaking trailer. High water yeah, beautiful, beautiful graphics. Set in a world ravaged by extreme climate change. Now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind and it's impacting yeah, fair the development one. of games including replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. That's really Guys, sad. I just want to say we're thinking of you and yeah. all the developers impacted by the conflict and hope to be able to share your work at a future show. I'm glad he put that in there. I'm really glad he acknowledged them. Yeah, and they actually announced recently that um, developments back on, they were able to relocate. Okay, good, so good. Safe and sound. Good, good, good. Or down. When you become unpopular, you need to start running for your life. Check this out. What? Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment this is gonna be one of them really like dark twisted ones had a dream oh surely the city of tomorrow that dream is now a reality and that city is arcadia it's exactly what disney wants square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys they want to own everything <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. American Arcadia. Control. Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. I mean, again, this is another one kind of like similar to the other one. It looks fun. I'd really like to sit down and play it, but the time I have is going to be like listen to me we can't allow you know what I mean? to escape struggle to get a game like this into it trevor trevor can you hear me i like the theme i like the theme as lot as well yeah i do i'm going to get you out of there cool it looks good um again it'll be on the list of games that i wish i could play that i probably won't get around to <laughs> apparently we've made it to the beach 
Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for a long time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out, you don't want to get bitten. After many years of rumors, we finally get an update on this Dead Island? anticipated sequel. Is it really? Is it going to be Dead Island too? It has to be. Happy Surely, games. right? No, I don't know what studio. Yeah, it is. It is. This is yeah. the original trailer they had, isn't it? It is. Yeah, where the guy's running. Yep. Yeah. The graphics look way different, though. Uh, interesting. The graphics look different. It looks more like in-game graphics. It is definitely. The other one was very cinematic. No, it's not. It's not. They're, they're taking the piss out of it, aren't they? It's not that game. It's Goat no, Simulator it or something. Simulator? They're taking the piss it's out of it. Oh Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> they're completely trolling the fact that frigging Dead Island's not coming out. That is amazing. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. What a great idea. Oh my God. I love it. What a brilliant idea. Go Simulator 3. <laughs> Fantastic. I love that, like, even he kind of had that, like, bit of, oh, we're going to trick people here. Brilliant. Look, that's that's one we have to play, like, off stream or off video. Yeah. We have to just get together and play. It's so much fun. Yeah. That looked, that was brilliant. Big fan. Studio behind XCOM and Civilizations. Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men crossover. Not interested in this. Natural ones like Blade no, and Ghost Rider. No. Battle against Lilith, the mother of demons. Today, we've got a look at some new folks set to join the battle. Cool. Oh, this is definitely going to copyright everyone. This music. Huh. Yeah, I'm not interested. I'm going to turn it down a bit just in case it does. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm not interested in this. Come on, give me some friggin' Hogwarts Legacy or Ragnarok or something like that, please. Although the, the game that thing... new game. Uh... What? Uh, the, the new game from um, Obsidian. Ooh, yes. I want to see more on that. The new fantasy one? Yeah. I would love to see more on that. I really, really would. Um, again, though, like, uh, we've been getting a lot of good new games. I've got to admit, I've got to admit, there's been some really good new games coming out, like, but they've announced and I'm intrigued on. Um, but as a personal preference, I'm more fantasy than I am sci-fi. So although I very much love sci-fi, um, I'm just obsessed with fantasy. So I just want to see, I want to see a bit more fantasy. Spider-Man. Cool. Oh, they got the voice actor from the first Spider-Man game. That's good. Oh, they did? Well, the 2016 game. Yeah, yeah. Not the, you know what I mean? Yeah. A little bit of continuity there. That's good. Yeah, that is kind of cool. I, I'm not like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to play this game. <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to play this game. I have a good time. I have a good time for a game like this. You know what I mean? I don't have time for a game like this. Especially when there's a lot of other really, really good games out there that demand so much time from us. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not that I don't like... D not that I don't like Marvel. I love Marvel. I think Marvel's great. I do. I genuinely do. And I love Spider-Man. The Spider-Man films are unbelievable. It's just we're just so flooded with it. It can get a bit overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, and I don't really enjoy many of the Marvel games. No, the Marvel games are a little, a little. Well, apart from the new Spider-Man game, which you have to admit is is good. Oh, the rest of them, the Both rest of them are a little cheap. Yeah. Oh, Cuphead. Midnight Suns, and now Ooh. we're moving on to the wonderful world of Cuphead, the delicious last course. And can you, can you believe it? We're only a couple weeks away from playing the delicious last course. I never played the first Cuphead. Was it good? Cuphead. 
Joining me now is Maya Phenomenal. Power from Super really? Amazing. HR. So first of all, oh, yeah. Maya, it's really coming? It's really coming June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Very difficult. Well, mm. I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week. You guys gave me a copy. This on his Steam Deck, he had to say that, didn't he? I'm going to be ready for how amazing oh, of this course looks. He did. The backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've, you've amped up, obviously, the gameplay. It's difficult, as we would expect, but... The visual look, you guys have taken it even to the next level, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, we absolutely did. I couldn't pinpoint one thing that we're... Blaze, I swear you come into really chat just to say controversial things the all level. the time. The backgrounds, the music. It says, oh, ooh, I hate Spider-Man, Tom uh, Holland ruined it. What? <laughs> Cap. Cap and a half. And yeah. Blaze, I feel like you're here just to wind people up. That's all you're going to do. It is, it is. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, you just get, get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new... Uh, He's like, you know that picture of yeah, the, um, um, the like, yeah, court jester sitting on top of a wall? Of yeah. Like, poking at dogs? Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. play. <laughs> yes, and lots of challenge ahead. Well, I know you brought... I, I know you want... You don't want people to necessarily have too much spoiled about the game, but you brought a little something. For a little play. something, yeah. It's a uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes place in an icy arena um, and features some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. We... Hope everyone enjoys it. All right, let's check it out. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Thanks, Maya. Thanks. Cool, let's see it. I tell you what, it's such a unique art style, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I've always admired how well this art style mixed with actual gameplay. It's very impressive. Isn't the first game on um, Game Pass? I would not know. Wouldn't mind giving it a try. Oh, I'd love to watch you try to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, this has been going on. How long have we been live now? It's been an hour, this this uh, show so far. I can't see it going on much longer. Probably like half an hour, if that, by the sounds of it. But I don't know. What do you think? Now, if you want even more cup, uh, yeah, I think we're tomorrow, probably gonna be wrapping up pretty soon here. I'd, I'd at least imagine. Uh, yeah, I would have thought so. Show. We haven't. I don't know. None of the games that I wanted have been on yet, but. Show and game announcements. It streams at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. And that's not all. I think it's been a decent presentation so far. Weekend long. Coming up next, oh, is that it? Day of the Devs Indie Showcase with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow, after Geek Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, with news on Rocket League. Okay. So that's pretty, he's, he's wrapping it up then, I think, innit? Don't miss the I think so. So we're about to get our big, like, mic drop. I hope so. I, I might stream now the Xbox Bethesda. News for Nintendo Switch and PC fans Ooh. about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend to heaven. This can't be the final video. Maybe that was just no. like a little snippet in there, just giving people an understanding of what's to come in the next few days. Uh, let me know in the chat. Would you like to see me stream... The Xbox Bethesda conference on Sunday. Let me know in chat what you think about that. We're called Neo. I might actually stream it over on the Sword and Scabbard one, since it's more Xbox and Bethesda specifically. Let me know what you think. This is very Nintendo. I love this voice actor. I don't know his name, but he's done so many amazing characters. He did really? Tank Dempsey. Mm. Love it. Wow, it's a lot in it, this game. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Neon white. Cool. Not my cup of tea. Oh, damn, that's coming out a week from today. Good lord. Oh, really? We've shown you lots of yeah. games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. <laughs> Over the past year, he's brought on some help to bring okay. a vision for a fast-paced action game 
Midnight Fight Express to life. Made by a single father on his own in Poland, sat in his room like, I'm going to make a game. It's going to be on. It's going to be on Game Fest. You know the same. Fair play to him. You know what I mean? Get up again. That whole spiel. Well, it's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Someone's saying Call of Duty just released new gameplay. Is it not the same one that uh, we just reacted to? Uh, I'll go check the YouTube. Yeah, I'm heading over there now. Yeah, Dark Water official gameplay. It's the same one, I'm pretty sure, we just reacted to. For those people wondering... Yeah, it is. For those people wondering, I might just clip uh, the stream and release it as its own video as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, just, so, just so people don't have to watch this whole stream again just to watch my reaction to it i'll just clip it and and release it cool kill cool. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam and will be part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I cool. really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys. Warframe. Check it out. All right. Joining me now is <laughs> Megan from Digital Extreme to talk all things what, you Warframe. Don't like Warframe. Megan, how you doing? I'm so good. My it's so Canadian. beyond me now. I know. We got like, you know what I mean? Like a, always have these Canadian teams on yeah, the I show. feel you. I, I, I ain't got time for this shit. Like well, I'm a dad of two. <laughs> I ain't even got time for this shit. You know what I mean? Right now, anyone watching on Twitch for more I'm a dad, I'm a dad of two show. toddlers. You think I've got time to put into That's Warframe? Right. Jesus Christ. It, so <laughs> I barely got time to take a shit. Well, the kids moaning at me. Steph's laughing in the background over here. <laughs> As I said, we've done a lot of years. You guys have done incredible things with the game, and I know you have TennoCon coming up in July, which is your big kind of event of the year to reveal what's next. What what can you tell us? Well, I can't tell too much, yeah. Um, but yeah, July sixteenth, twenty twenty two. It's a digital event again this year. Uh, today, actually, we just launched the digital items for it, so you can get some in-game goodies, some really cool cosmetics, some merch, all that really great stuff went live today. But of course, the reason I'm here... Blaze wants to see me stream Goat Day. Simulator. We have our Tenno Live during TennoCon, which is Send it. Maybe. the middle of the night. And we usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay, a little bit of a demo. I've got and Trail Mix stuck in my teeth. People can suspect what it might be, but I'm here to kind of confirm what it is that Tenno Live is going to show. And what is that? Can I say it? Yes, I think you can. Okay, you're going to get your first look at the Daviri Paradox. It's finally! Finally, I know. I know it's been a couple of years. I don't know what she's talking about. Paradox is going to be what Tenno Live is all about, and I'm so happy. Uh, I'm so really lost. Yeah, I'm completely lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for her. She seems very happy about it. Hope she has a great day. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Warframe, uh, Warframe fans are like freaking out. Right yeah, now. exactly. My friend, what was done is done. New dangers. New choices Wait, is this still now. Warframe? Is this Warframe? <laughs> I'm really confused now. I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. Hey Luke, you gonna do a series for the new Modern Warfare 2? You got damn right I am. For now. I'm gonna force you to play Warzone at least like twice a week. Yeah. Well, now that I've got the Starlink, it's not perfect. It does drop every now and again, but it's streamable. Look, I'm streaming right now. Do you know what I mean? So, That's true. Oh, I would, I'm d d stream or not, I'm still going to get your ass on the game. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that was still Warframe? I'm so lost. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on right there. Titan Prime. Okay. That's a very cool looking character, at least. Hmm. The Stranger's Hood. There you go. Oh my god! New look at Honkai Star Give me something Honkai good! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> People are like, what are you talking about? This is great. <laughs> From Genshin Impact Studio, Hoyaverse, across mobile and PC. This studio continues to deliver... Oh, uh, yeah, even though... Uh, like, yeah, we've had a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I want something big. Give me something big. 
What, you don't want to play the Honkai Star today? What is Anime this? I don't even know what it is. Listen, listen, I respect anime. I respect it for what it is, but it all looks the same. You could have said this is... You could have put any famous anime name on top of this and I would have been like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I mean, I I'm going to be real with you, right? I like anime. No, I get... No, I, I totally respect it. I really do. It's just I'm not, I I'm not invested in that genre, right? And I haven't got the time to invest into that genre, so... You know? Yeah, when it comes to games... There's only one that I've ever actually enjoyed. I just don't think it works for game. What's that? Oh, Persona 5. Oh, I play Persona, well, Persona actually. In general. I play Persona yeah, and game. I really enjoyed it. I, I ended oh, up, yeah. I binged it for like a couple days. I didn't complete it, but I played a good chunk of it and really enjoyed it. It was a bit repetitive, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, but for the it's most a very part, game to put down. it is, it is. But for the most part, I, most anime games to me are just, copy paste that's what it seems like you know there's a few out there yeah. again that you know I have one but they all have that uh that same 3d art style that's they do weird. yeah they do like i like the shows because it's all different art styles and different mm. animation styles and a lot of it is hand drawn but then you get like stuff like this and it's like eh. <laughs> yeah bigness see look same. Looks exactly the same. I have to say, I'm blown away by what I've seen Is so it far. not? It's, ago, it's not the same. Looks exactly the same. With a fast -paced action style. See, this is why we need Steve in here. Brand new look I, I, feel, I feel like Steven would agree with me with some of this, though. And world Probably. <clears throat> hey, Steph. That's a water, please. Steph, come here. Just check this out. <laughs> Doesn't this just look like any generic anime? Yeah. Chill, child. Okay, that looked pretty cool then. That looked pretty cool then for a second. The only good game I've seen so far is Modern Warfare. No, I, I disagree with that. I think that um, the the two that kind of um, give me Dead Space vibes at the start, I'm definitely on board with. I think they look great. Um, especially the one with the two actors as well. So I, I don't think Call of Duty is the only good game that's been in this conference. Hey, Luke, kind no, of no, off topic. No. I think Highwater looked good. Yeah, yeah, I think that looked good as well. Hey, Luke, kind yeah. of off topic, but have you been watching Kenobi? I have, but please don't talk about it until the whole series out because um, I don't want it to spoil for anyone who's not all, caught, all the way caught up, okay? Um, but I have a lot to say about Kenobi. I freaking love it. Oh, dude, same. That orgy? Crazy. More Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. SGF is that guy holding a traffic like what yeah look at the <laughs> this guy in the right holding a plunger that's very eff i don't think that's very effective no i agree oh, please right. upload this more like modern the, warfare the videos classic, uh, monday remake. yeah i respect this type oh. yeah and i know uh people are actually really hyped up about this one I think I'm a little too young for it, though, to be honest. I respect this type of game because they're not shying away from what they actually are. Do you know what I mean? Right. Hey, guys, look. Vegan cheese string. Why do you do that to yourself? What? It's actually really good. This is the best vegan cheese string I've had. <laughs> 10 out of 10 vegan cheese string. And I'm gonna eat it just like this. Like I'm not like it's not even a cheese string. Like it's just a block of cheese. 
What's it made out of? Like cashews or something? Um, I'm guessing so. It doesn't say on the packet. Probably something bad for me. <laughs> but it's really good. What's it made out of? No, no. No, no one knows. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Ooh, mystery. mystery cheese. <laughs> Why vegan? I've been Ooh, vegan nearly four game. years now. What? Oh. <laughs> What's this? Is this like an anime war game? I don't know, but it looks kind of cool. Please tell me this isn't just like a, a generic hero shooter. Probably is. Oh wait, we're gonna hear the ingredients. You wanna talk in the... No, I'm not reading. Oh, you don't know how to pronounce them all? That probably means it's bad then. <laughs> Let me read it, give it a... Filtered water, potato starch, coconut oil, expeller press, canola and or sunflower oil. Why is it saying and or? What, then it's changing it up? Tricalcium phosphate, vegan natural flavors, salt, pea protein, something gum, lactic acid, brackets vegan, konjac gum, fruit and slash or vegetable juice color, anato color, yeast extract and vegan enzymes. There you go. Wait. Lactic acid isn't vegan, right? It says brackets vegan, so it's gonna be vegan, right? Oh. <laughs> you don't trust what they say, right? They would never lie to us, right? Never. <laughs> of course not. Bunch of chemicals, yeah, you're right. Tasty chemicals. <laughs> I prefer my dairy. <clears throat> what is this? Uh, it's got that weird Disney music and then we're going to get a copyright claim for us. So I'm going to turn it down. I know it's not Disney music. It's like um, a... Alton Towers music. Anyone know what Alton Towers is in England? Is this like Sid Meier's? I have no idea. Civ? I have no idea what it is. It's more than history. It's your story. Civilization. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, nah. Do you know what I haven't played yet? The new Age of Empires game. I've got it downloaded on my computer. I haven't played it yet. Sega! Humankind allows you to shape your civilization <clears throat> by combining a multi-historical I thought Sega died. No, they're slowly coming game. back, aren't they? Oh, One piece is celebrating the 25th anniversary this year, and Bandai Namco. <laughs> I've heard. Popular franchise back to I know I've done nothing but disrespect Monkey anime Luffy so far. I've heard that One Piece is genuinely, from a um, fantasy like I read a lot of big fantasy series, right? From a fantasy aspect, is apparently phenomenal world building. Apparently. The Straw Hat Pirates journeying along the ground. Like the line. show? Yeah, well, the books are the show. I'm not sure which one I, they were referring to, but I've heard that the world building in this is like some of the best. I don't know enough about it, but apparently, it genuinely is fantastic. I have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on right now. <laughs> I mean, the show is very good. I'm, I'm like 700 episodes in. It's just, it's long, dude. Is it, is it as good as what I said then with like the world building and stuff? I think they're better, but I think it's pretty good. Really? Like, um, I think you would probably enjoy Fairy Tale a lot. It's a very fantasy, like, magic. Yeah. 
sword kind of anime. The and one anime the episodes. Sorry, go on. Oh yeah, and the the world building starts from like, for instance, there's a, something that gets said in like episode two or three or something, and it doesn't come back until like a hundred episodes later. Jesus. But it's so relevant. So if you remember it, it's just a cool little nod thing. Yeah. So, <clears throat> the one anime I've been tempted to get into is that Vinland Saga because I'm really into Norse mythology. Um, oh yeah, I've heard good things. I've I've heard that's good, but I just haven't got the time, man. I haven't got the time to get into something new like this. I already read a lot of what fantasy novels, books? and there's dedicated shows that me and Steph already sit down and watch, at, like, in the afternoon. Do you know what I mean? When the kids are asleep. There's already so many shows that I watch that it's hard to start bringing new ones in, you know? This August, Soul yeah. Hackers 2 from Atlas launches, and we've got your first listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. With what? What's this? Uh, something from Atlas. I really like Atlas games. These are the guys Atlas. who did Persona. Yeah, yeah. See, I, yeah. Pers Persona's the one anime game where I was like, okay, there's, there's something here to it that I'm missing out on, you know? Right. I think even people who don't like anime can really appreciate the game because it's just, it's entertaining. It is an entertaining game, yeah. But again, a lot, like, all this that it's showing now to me is generic, in my opinion. Um... But what I like the thing that really like shined with Persona is how good the gameplay actually was, right? So in my opinion, for someone like me who's not into anime, doesn't really have that super big interest to get into it. If they showed what the gameplay looks like, I think I'd be more like, oh, okay. You might be wondering, you know? Right. Yeah, that turn-based, very in-depth combat system was really, really, really great. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. The Epic Mega Sale is going on right now. Save Epic Mega Sale. Five percent off top PC titles with an additional twenty-five percent off eligible products. This is a and long it presentation. It is long, isn't it? We're at an hour and twenty-two now. Be sure to claim your it's got to be. It's got to be wrapped up soon. It's very rare that a conference goes on for like two hours. How many times can you say that's happened? Once or twice? I, maybe like uh, you think like uh, E3 back in the day, but even E3 back in the day, like. What's this? Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. Vegan tuna. <laughs> Did you just get it on yourself? No. Oh. I'm just having a platter of everything today, aren't I? <laughs> you nuts. Mmm. That's pretty good. No. <clears throat> okay, this is an interesting concept. What is it? It's a I wasn't paying attention. Specialized TV that seems to have some kind of integration a with TV like, game services. Interesting. Oh, it's all cloud-based. That's why. Uh, okay. Samsung gaming. Uh, cloud. What? Cloud gaming one day is Okay, great. Steph's telling me to close my eyes and she's going to feed me something. This is very dangerous. Is it healthy? Oh my... <laughs> Get that pickle away from me. <laughs> I need some... Give me that kombucha. <laughs> Fucking pickles. I ate... Pick... Why would you do that to me? Uh, mm. <laughs> oh! Oh! Pickles! No! Disgusting! Fucking pickles. Ugh. Oh, I've got it. It's still in my mouth. I need something else. It's You're still in my mouth. Yeah, because them. Oh! Oh! oh. Give me these friggin'. Oh! It's... Why would you do that? I'm trying to be professional here and you feed me a gherkin. Disgusting. <laughs> You're not getting any tonight. Hi, my name is Carl, <laughs> and I'm a developer on Metal Hellsinger. You know how in some games with the music's really good. Evil wife, people in the chat. To the beat, 
what if you had to? <laughs> Pickles <laughs> Luke's hot chat of it. Oh, my nose is water and everything now. Like surge tank what? Of a down. So what head banging is, <laughs> we do recommend it. Our demo is live oh. on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms. So go check it out. And Disgusting. The beat. No, I just need to get I that taste out of my mouth. Immediately download this. No, this was good. This is like a Doom inspired yeah. metal shooter. Oh, wait, yeah. And apparently there's a demo out. Steph said if someone donates, I'll eat a pickle. I don't know about that. Oh, anything. I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know if I like that challenge. Look at this. This game looks sick. It's a shooter where you're supposed to line things up with the rhythm. I love that. This looks great. This looks good. FPS. I'm all about that. And yeah, this looks really good. Apparently. Wait, did it say free game? No, no, uh, there's a demo apparently out like right now for this. It's as if they took Doom and they were like, I want more. I'm going to turn it down though because I'll get copyright claim. But it looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm really impressed. Metal Hellsinger. <laughs> I love the name as well. Hellsinger. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm about that. That looked good, that. Still Metal taste pickle. Singer. Where's that demo? Demo. Nice. All right, downloading. Yo. That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with <clears throat> metal music. And right now, as they mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Oh, I might get that demo. I might give it a try. Free. Next up. A new game launches tomorrow, The Quarry from Supermassive Games. This spiritual successor to Until Dawn stars David Arquette really? and all Oh, yeah, yeah, I've heard getting about this. Great reviews, and this is one of those Blaze donates two pounds and says, eat the pickle. Blaze, it's going to have to be way more than two freaking pounds to eat a pickle. You do have no idea how much I ate pickles. I hate pickles. Hate them. Freaking two pound. Two pound? Two pound. Get out of here, Blaze. No. It's always Blaze, isn't it? Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. But you pull on that rope, and you're just going to fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. No, it's got to be more than that. I'm not eating the pickle. What's the point of that? What? There is a lot more to this thing. This looks all right. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. This looks like a... Um, you have no idea what's going on. Looks good. No, I'm not... Cool. No. no. Decision-making. It doesn't matter. You can't... I can't do it again, babe. What is it? It was two pound. I'm not... No. You won't hate it. What should I call? 911. Swear on me life. 911? Who says 911? What is it? Goodbye, cool world. It's a chip. We gotta get out. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. No, it has to be. It has to be upwards of. God, I don't even know for a pickle. A has to be a lot a more. Really Friggin' pickle. This is gonna get a little messy. The quarry. That looks alright. Give him his money back. Uh, it looks like a, uh, it looks like another one of those games where you just kind of like press buttons to make decisions. And you, yeah, and you choose the we were proud the story. To Nightingale, a yeah. shared world survival crafting game from Inflection Games up in Canada. Oh, remember this? Now it's time to give you this a looks all right, this. Deeper look at the game, including its innovative realm card system that lets you impact things like the weather pattern, resources, and challenges in its procedural realms. Here is your exclusive new look. Remember seeing this and thinking it looks You're all right? In the realms, I'm afraid. No, Pickles five pound for a pickle, plague. Get out of here. Freaking pie, five pound. I'm sure, if Nightingale made it. What about twenty bucks. No. You have no you idea how much I much? hate pickles. I just think <laughs> it's <laughs> he's donated another two pounds, saying, "Eat the pickle, you ungrateful goose." I will donate that money back to you, Blaze. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not eating a pickle for two pound. It's not happening. Is it just like, is it just all pickles or like sweet pickles Pickle versus like They're all the same. Pickles? You can't polish a turd. They're all the same. Do you like... This looks all right, this game, doesn't it? It would have to be oh, upwards on, of like just... 50 pound. You're not just going to dodge this. Do you like cucumbers? No. I hate you cucumbers. Don't like cucumbers. No, I hate cucumbers. What is your, like. Okay, so we have the heart of the problem. We have the heart of the problem here. <laughs> what do you think about zucchini? Uh, zucchinis are okay. It depends on how they're cooked. What? Hmm. Yeah. But I, I don't like cucumbers, and I definitely don't like pickles. Pickles are just spicy cucumbers. I know that's. I was kind of hoping you would say you liked cucumbers. No, I, I hate. Mean, I hate what cucumbers don't you like as well. About cucumbers. They're, They're so gross. Inoffensive. They're gross. What? It's not a fan of cucumbers. I never have been. Be gross. All right, I'm not just. I'm not an alien. And all is mended. Looks like the forest. It does a bit. A bit of a twist on it. Someone says I hate cucumbers, but I like pickles. Hey. Five pound from John Tran, eat the pickle. Mate, <laughs> I can't do it for five pounds. I cannot Saints eat a pickle for five pounds, John. I'm sorry. That we last year at if it adds up to 50, today, all of it. I don't know. The boss factory demo yeah, I guess. PC and console, which lets you design and set up your Plays with another one pound 79, eat the pickle. <laughs> a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. This is a demo, is it? I'm like avoiding the chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do something to capture people's attention. So what do we build next? What do you think of the new Saints Row? Me. Uh, I'm not like too involved with the Saints Row series, so yeah, shame. I, don't, I don't really have a strong opinion either way. TBH. Yeah. I'm intrigued, but I'm not like. We are so good at this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean if it comes out, it's good. If it comes out and it's good, I'll play it, but I'm not, like, excited for it. Right. Seriously, this is perfect. Dinner and a show, baby. Steph's in the chat. Oh, my God. She's keeping count of the donations so that if it gets over £50, we'll get a pickle. <sighs> Why did this happen? You have no idea how much it will actually ruin my day. Fuck's sake. I'm just gonna ignore chat and hopefully it'll go away. Eat the pickle. Is this a demo they said? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was still stuck on the pickle. I think it's a demo. The graphics looks kind of bad. Yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty rough. It's kind of bad, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, you don't really play Saints Row for the graphics, though, do you? Right. It's free. Oh, Dark Side! Nice! First look at extended gameplay of Warhammer 40k you finally Dark get some fantasy. <laughs> finally! <laughs> but it's still sci-fi fantasy. Dark Tide promises intense four-player co-op action and terrifying enemy hordes to team up against. And it's out on September 13th on PC, you say. on Steam, and exclusively on console on Xbox. Oh! Oh, Xbox exclusive. Look at that. I'm excited to see it though. Oh my god. <laughs> Your hunting content. Oh, okay, so damn you. I'm going to thank you for the this donation. Like the, uh, but I'm not going to eat the pickle. <laughs> this isn't the um, more fantasy side of uh, No, no, no. It's 40k. Oh. Although I am really looking forward to this game. No, I didn't end the stream. I think sometimes it just goes off. 
because the internet is a bit choppy. This looks really good. I'm genuinely going to play this on the channel, by the way. I'm very excited for this. Oh, I love the brutality. Yeah, I'm very oh. excited for this. 100% playing this on the channel. Oh, this looks great. The hordes of people. What do you think, Dan? It looks cool as hell. You haven't got an Xbox, have you? Nope. Because <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a team-based game, so it would be nice to get a couple people on to play it. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. I'm really excited for that September 13th. I'm really excited for that. Bloober team is known for psychological horror games like Blair Witch and the Medium. Today, they are ready to reveal their latest $32 more. Don't even dare. Real Engine 5 for a visceral <laughs> horror experience. It's a return to the world of layers of fears. Get oh. the of this. Layers of fear. Someone once said insanity runs in our family. A lot of horror games in this so far, eh? Run. There have been, yeah. Kind of feels like there's a void in horror right now, so that's not too surprising. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I'm I'm all about it. I'm not I'm not saying it as a complaint. I love horror games. I hate playing them, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pickle emoji. Get out of here. I'm going to ban everyone that puts anything to do with pickles in the chat. $10. Eat the pickle. Fuck's sake, Blaze. Blaze. You know what, Blaze? Blaze is... I swear. Blaze. Is he just a troll? I know it. Does this whole purpose of being on this channel is to troll me? What if you put some like hot sauce or something on it? Oh, nah, that makes it even worse. I just have to eat it real quick and then get it out my take, get the taste out of my mouth. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you heard it. He said he's gonna eat it quick. No, no, no. If <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of lot of donations before then, because <laughs> fuck pickles. What about 500k? You do a pickle tasting. 500k? For a pickle taste? I'd like a pickle for 500k. A pickle taste? No, oh no, I'm talking about charcuterie board of pickles. <laughs> I would. A 500k. <laughs> no, like subs. Like. Oh, 500k subs? I don't know about that. Do a, a pickle charcuterie board? Yeah, go on. I would do for that. Layers of fear. That's, I'm, I'm intrigued. Looks kind of generic, but I'm excited. I'll play that. What am I munching on? <laughs> uh, trail mix. This October, Gotham Knights. Oh, for arrive. fuck's sake. Batman is dead, and it's up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin to protect Gotham. Mm. To give us an exclusive new look, let's head to Montreal to hear from executive producer. Are you excited for this? <sighs> uh-uh. If they said Warner Brothers is going to be here, and if, if this is what Warner Brothers are bringing, I'm going to be very sad. I'm Fleur Marty. I'm the executive producer on Gotham Knights. Today, we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved Knights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first in our character series, and we're really looking forward to share more with you as we continue working towards our launch on October 25th. So, I hope you enjoy the show, and stay tuned. <laughs> I'm allergic to pickles, guys. <laughs> Oh. To be fair, this I might end up being a good game, but yeah, I'm city, not like excited for it. My home. It's Just because the Gotham Knight games are pretty good. Is it Gotham Knights, Gotham the Batman ones? 
They were pretty fun games. Uh, Arkham City. Arkham City, yeah, yeah. This is Gotham yeah. Knights, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, just like Fortnite. <laughs> His entire life savings gone because he. <laughs> cool. I got this, Bruce. So, how did Bruce die, though? I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah, I guess so. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure the game will be good, but I'm not willing to bet 70 bucks on it. Yeah, I agree. That was Gotham I agree. Knights, and now we welcome, oh, look who it is. Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog, uh, co-president of Naughty Dog. Um, what? Uh, great to have you with us, Neil. It's what? been a, uh, what? an eventful day on the isn't internet this, for Naughty Dog fans. Isn't this Mr. And, Fuckwit? Uh, I, think we jinxed our I don't know what that means. We were joking about last night, like, watch that. This is the dude who got, like, accused of doing the self-insert well, the into hasn't leaked that we have Last of Us 2. Yeah, this is the guy that, like, uh, botched Last Naughty of Us Part 2. First of all, it is a... Uh, you know, it's a I mean, Last of Us Part 2 wasn't that bad. Not as bad as what everyone says it is. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I don't think it was. Last of Us. Uh, oh, I think two, it was pretty bad. I think two, it was which pretty is, bad. Hard to, hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us 1, two years for Last of Us Part 2, and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters in this journey and this world mean so much to them. Um, Are you going to show some of the film? Kind of amazing. Like, Last of Us Part 2, early this year, that's a pretty big milestone. It sold over 10 million units. And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. It has allowed us to grow as a studio, and now success. Oh, you're projects. not gonna try to pass off Last of Us Two as a success. Last of Us Two was good. It was a good game. Interesting. Just so, uh, everyone online just hated it, and people last online like to follow the trend. Expecting the future from you. Thank you for asking, Jeff. Yes. Uh, if you look so at the game and the story objectively, it's a good story. Multiplayer mode. Yeah, but it's evolved. following up it the last one. Really it doesn't matter if it's yeah. following the last one. It was a good story. It's a good story. And we felt the way to do it justice is to make Nothing would have lived up to Last of Us you know, 1. Nothing. We for the past two years, yeah, but you didn't have to ruin the legacy. Nothing would have lived up to Last of Us 1. Nothing. Yeah, but you didn't have to ruin the legacy of 1. You didn't ruin I'll the legacy. Oh, it, I'll die on the cell if it did. Okay, well, uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so, what, a standalone uh, we multiplayer a game? We show, yeah. um, get away! Uh, what, what I can get away! You, Whoa! Steph, get away. This game is <laughs> I'm like a cat when they see a cucumber. Any of our single player games that we've done <laughs> in some way bigger. It's got a story. Um, the way we're telling that story is very unique to this game. Um, a multiplayer a game, that's kind of strange. Takes place at another place. Uh, another part of the United States. I mean, the like multiplayer from the so first familiar. game, I know no one ever sure talked about it, but it was actually it not um, bad. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Uggerwall. Um, and I mean, I'm not going to buy it. And, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not Joe buying anything from Naughty Dog for a hot minute. But... Last of Us, See, I think everything that they've done so far has been good. Next year, so it's been above average year. by a long shot. Okay. All the well, Uncharted games are fantastic. This, uh, this Both like Last of Us games are good. Can't you can't deny they're not Naughty good. I mean, you, you don't like two. Most people online don't like two because people like to follow trends. And I got, I'm going to stand on that hill that people like to hate and they hate without an opinion and hate because everyone else hates. It happens all the time. Well, I agree. Last of Us still think the second game was bad. HBO, right? Yes. Yeah, so oh, here we go. Here we go. Finish the second year, game. Um, you know, <coughs> yeah, in my own time, I did. Yeah. Chernobyl fame okay. Okay. And HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV, uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's pretty incredible. The stuff I'm getting back when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help but feel emotional because not only is it so good and the quality is so high, it's so authentic to what we've made in the game. Um, and I'm excited uh, for this. I, I just can't, I couldn't be proud of, like, again, Craig and that whole crew and everybody that's up there. Uh, and they're actually, their last day of filming is tomorrow. So Interesting. Actually, last day of filming is last tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, wow. kind of wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's, it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And you actually got to direct one of the episodes? 
Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. Um, I think we have an image from the episode I actually directed. Oh, 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 let's see. Okay. Let's first look. Let's take... <laughs> okay. Wow. Let's see, uh, this is a certain museum that yep. players might know from the game. Um, Very dark image, really but whatever. About Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey and not only directing them, but seeing them do all the other episodes. Pedro Pascal they is one of the best actors at the roles, currently. Um, He's brilliant. Year. Watching the nuance they bring to these characters. I, I genuinely, I've not really camera, seen anything he's been in yet that I've not liked. Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. It felt so similar to the chemistry those two actors had when we made the game. Um, I just, it really feels like this is going I don't to be know if I really special. wanted and I, I will say this last of us to go away from games no I, 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 I agree with that I agree with that and I feel like it's going to be very difficult for them to because obviously the show has got to be last of us one right and it'd be sad if they changed any of that because it's the first game is pretty much a perfect game it's a 10 out of 10 right so how are they possibly gonna do that without just showing the game but in live action you know what i mean actually have a couple actors from the show yeah i mean dude ever since the first game came out and i played it i thought that there shouldn't have even been a sequel i thought it should have just stayed as this fantastic single oh what's up amazing game surprise right oh nice and it to a sequel and ashley johnson i'm a little confused though i thought maybe Pedro Bello, but Troy Ashley out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. That um, makes sense. Such fans that makes of, like, sense. The talent and the hel like helping us create Joel and Ellie. Um, we felt like it was so important that they become part of the show. And it wasn't, it's, it has to be more than just like, kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Okay. These are real roles. That we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, it's a TV show, not a movie. I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed your stuff. That, there's it's, been so much it's stuff. It's so I feel like so good on the internet. There's so much like talk about what's being filmed, and I think that's you guys have kept a complete secret that you so you were up there and you you filmed your roles by now. Obviously, I don't hate you, Blaze. I'm just ignoring you. Franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had for today. Yeah. Yeah. Except for today. Yeah. <laughs> except for the day. Uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that we did. We worked hard. The, the crew, I have to say, um, when I walked out on set, um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working on. And I wonder what they're going to change, because they're going to change some aspects of it. Fan and their love you know, for the game. I'm very um, intrigued about this show. I was, like, I was coming home to friends. Yeah, I, I the attention to detail, the crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are... Man. I, they're so perfect. I just don't know about it, bringing it, games to. Sort of so yeah, it <laughs> very it's, it's rarely just, works. It doesn't ever work out. Person. It very rarely works. It's, it's very like, rarely. It's like the characters coming to life, but it it it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am so. Excited I mean, look at the disaster of the Halo show. There's a reason I haven't covered I any of it on the channel, even though Halo has been a big part of the so channel. Good. It's, you know, it's, I love the story. Yeah. I love no, just being I'm, a part of. I'm the so world. excited about the series and the fact that you guys are gonna be in it and undisclosed roles. I'm so fascinated how it's gonna sort of bob and weave and, and you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing new characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. Mm. <laughs> I can tell you. So sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. Maybe to it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Well. Let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea, or really what's happening. Why do the people like in the chat keep saying ads? The original game. What's going on with that? This is like a ground up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered Are they just by saying because this isn't a game uh, and they're to find a way to get even closer to I don't know. I've, I've, every every now and again in the chat, I've seen someone complaining about ads and I don't really know. Instead of talk about it, well, that's all oh, about like right, when they first tuned into their stream. Last yeah, it's still YouTube. Like, right. Yeah. I don't know what you want, Chief. What's this here? Is this the multiplayer one? You leave Boston? Uh, I think so. I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. Captured on PS5. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. No, this is you this isn't the multiplayer. That little girl. This is the first game. Yeah, this is from first game. Is it a remake? I've never 
been this close. Oh, a PS5 upgrade? All right. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm all about that. that. I'm all about that. Oh, am I going to have to pay again? There. There's ads playing during the stream. S3. Yeah, if it's if it's a revamp of the game, I'll totally play it. Can it? Um, oh, so what I think is happening with the ads is the ch because my YouTube's a little bit off, it'll kick people from it thinking that the stream's finished, and then when you get back on, it plays an ad. Get you killed. Uh, I think I think that's what it is. I'm sorry, guys. It's the internet. It's out of my hands, and I apologize. I get in trouble. I do apologize. Every shot. I don't, I don't know about reselling the first Last of Us for PS5. I don't, I don't mind it at all because I think it's a good game and the graphics look pretty good. They've definitely uh, upgraded them. Yeah, I'm, guess, I'm okay with that. Remember, this game out, came out the past decade. on Guys, PS3. To that? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, And then we got the yet. remaster for PS4. It yeah. It's, uh, it's like Skyrim all over again. Yeah, but there's people who probably haven't played it yet, you know? Yeah. You didn't go back in. I, mean, you used I guess, the but then they're going to charge... Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll have to see how much they charge for it. Take the original, uh, oh, I'm sure it'll be $60. Oh, uh, like yeah, then, yeah, it nah. New rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators went back and... Oh, it looks side good. Side side Look at that. Change, that. You went and you redid the models and rebuilt everything? Everything was re uh, rebuilt. Oh, wow. The, uh, same art director, re-art directed the whole thing from the ground okay. up. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Maybe I'll the, shut the up. Great thing about these faces Maybe that's fair. is that um, they're closer to the original performance. All the animators went and studied those That looks great. And got it closer to what you did. That's, that's a big... Uh, that's... I'm, I'm all about that. I'll replay the uh, game just for all that. Right. We could talk about like... This brand new AI. For that much detail, like okay, fair enough. Um, I'll have to um, after the stream. Just uh, the fidelity of everything. Yeah, that's a big upgrade. That's a big upgrade. That's not just a Skyrim on a new platform thing, is it? No, that's that's NPC. That's a proper remaster. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Remaster. That looks great. I mean, when was the last time you guys played the game? I I actually played it again just to refresh my memory before yeah. working uh, on the show. Uh -huh. um, I was a just a glutton for punishment, and I went straight from playing uh, yeah, part one it. straight into <laughs> part two. Um, and so the last time that I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, with I this. Mean, yeah, I can't wait to go back. Yeah, I'm, to that really I makes me want to play the game again. Job on that original game. And it's, it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. night and day from what, what it used to be. So I imagine that, you know, the, think of The Last of Us 2 combat, but kind of that back in The Last of Us 1. Well, it's the but, whole, like, all the yeah. new animation system. The new oh, wow. System, everything we've learned on, like, Uncharted 4, Last of yeah. Us 2. We so they basically to took the... Just to give the game of Last of Us Part uh, 2, but redone it for Part by, 1. Uh, like all the animations, uh, the gameplay, everything. Uh, you'll hear a lot more about it yeah, which makes a lot of sense because the gameplay in 2 was good. much better than the first one. Yeah. All right, well, I'm intrigued. I'll definitely play that. So we'll look forward to it. Now, you, Neil, you've talked a lot about games directed by other people. What, what are you directing? Are you still making games? Still making games. Okay. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about it. Maybe if someone in place and wants to leak it, then we can talk about it now. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll <laughs> you do have a new project. Do have a new project, okay. uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. Uh, interesting. Okay, well, we'll new we'll Uncharted game, so maybe. Right. Maybe a new IP. Ashley Beal, thank you so much for dropping by Summer Game Fest, and I am so excited that The Last of Us is returning, as you said. Last September. of Us Part Three. So thanks, guys. Oh, Can you imagine? Thanks, awesome. Oh my God. All right, well, that is going to do it. Thanks That's it. Thanks to Dog and PlayStation for that <sighs> special uh, look at The Last of Us and the entire franchise. I feel like it started going. really <laughs> good, and then it just slowed down a lot. Right, Summer Game Fest continues over the next oh, few days. Oh, that was a weak, Coming up right that was a weak place to end. Yeah, it was a weak place to end. And Double Fine, including an exclusive new look at the Planet of Lana. And then the Devolver Digital Showcase. Tomorrow, we've got Netflix Geeked Week, which I'll be co-hosting, and the Tribeca Game Showcase. Yeah, that was definitely uh, Epic Game Store Showcase. And then finally, slowed down Sunday, after Modern Warfare. The Xbox and Bethesda oh, Game oh, yeah. Showcase. You can I'm excited for Sunday. For I yeah, I agree. I'll see you again in August when we A lot of that stuff didn't need to be in it, I don't think. Germany. For Gamescom opening night live on August 23rd. They could have whittled that down to half an hour and it would have been a bit more, Microsoft, bit more, bit better, Angeles. you know? And finally, I'm excited to share the yeah. Summer Game Festival. Too many weird, like, as a too many things that weren't, uh, event to bring weren't the gaming quite related together. to gaming. <laughs> right, right, right. Summer Game Fest. And remember, there are more events and announcements to come. We'll see you soon. Cool. Okay. Well.
Let me pull up chat. So the big thing from that, Modern Warfare looked really good. Um, I'm happy about the new um, call of, the, the new uh, remaster. I think that's good. Uh, but other than that, the, the sci-fi horror games look pretty good. But no God of War, no um, Harry Potter. I think a lot of people in the chat and the actual main thing as well are saying the same thing. Eat the pickle before you go. Uh... <sighs> I don't know, guys. I feel bad for the people who have donated, but at the same time, I really don't want to eat a pickle. <laughs> you rinsed it off? Does that matter? Still a pickle. Half a, I'll eat half a pickle. Quarter of a pickle. Quarter of a pickle. I'll have a little nibble of a pickle. How about that? No, less than that. Cut that in half. Cut that in half. Oh, don't drip it on me, shit! Oh, it drips on me foot! Oh, can you get me something to wash it down with? I'm gonna play members while I eat this pickle. Oh, I gotta, I gotta see this. Big old spoonful of mac and cheese to finish it off. Ah, oh, it's crunchy. Good pickles are. Ah, that's for you, Blaze. Oh, it's in my teeth. Ah, oh, I'll eat a whole pickle maybe next time. Disgusting. It was one as. <laughs> All right, Dan. It's been a pleasure. You still there, Dan? Oh. Yeah, I'm just watching you eat a pickle. Oh, uh, that was disgusting. It's fascinating. It's disgusting. I'm gonna go, like, drink a million gallons of juice to get rid of that taste in my mouth now. Alright, guys, I will see you in the next video. Um, fitness video tomorrow. I'm probably gonna snip out the Call of Duty part and upload that separately as well. Um, Mass Effect on Saturday. More Call of Duty on Monday. So yeah, bunch of fun stuff. Get excited. It's going to be awesome. Any last words, Dan? Uh! There you go. Until next